Do you know the US has hundreds of nuclear missiles on land and at sea, always ready to launch within minutes? And the US isn't alone. Russia, China, North Korea, and even Israel have also deployed a significant portion of their nuclear weapons in a similar launch-ready state, capable of being fired within minutes without much preparation. Now, India has joined that list, thanks to its new canisterized missile capabilities. But what exactly are these always-ready nuclear weapons? Why do countries keep them on standby, even during peace? And what does this mean for India and for the region, now that it's stepping into this game? Unlike traditional missiles that require hours of fueling and preparation, and in some cases, if components are stored separately, it can even take days, canisterized missiles are pre-fueled, sealed in launch-ready tubes, and can be fired within minutes, just like a bullet from a gun. No messy launch pads, no delays, just a quick activation process. Canisterized missiles offer quick retaliation, stealthy mobility, and a strong psychological edge. You can move them around easily, hide them in forests, mountains or bunkers, and keep your enemy guessing. India seems to be aiming for a credible instant strike capability to survive a first attack and strike back instantly. India is rapidly expanding its nuclear arsenal. It currently holds around 180 nuclear warheads, slightly more than Pakistan's 170, making India the sixth largest nuclear power in the world. Even more concerning, India is adding about 6 to 10 new warheads every year. But there's something even more alarming than just the numbers. Canisterized missiles. India has been racing to shift its nukes into always ready-to-launch form. Its Agni-5, with a range of over 5,000 kilometers, is already canisterized. It's also planning to convert missiles like Agni-P, Agni-6, and even K-series submarine-launched missiles into canisterized versions. The Agni-6, with a range of over 10,000 kilometers, would definitely enhance India's ability to instantly target distant locations. So, India's move toward canisterized missiles isn't just about Pakistan. It's also aimed at China. So far, Pakistan doesn't officially keep its nukes in canisterized form, but with India's growing arsenal and shift in nuclear doctrine, the pressure is definitely building for Pakistan to consider doing the same. Such move could destabilize the regional balance, increase the risk of accidental escalation, and trigger a new arms race. Since both India and Pakistan remain in constant conflict and tensions often run high, keeping missiles always ready on both sides could push South Asia dangerously close to a hair-trigger nuclear war in the future. As far as China is concerned, it is already a leader in this game. China's DF series like DF-26 and DF-41 are canisterized, mobile and deadly. <laughs> 